Hi Pisces, um, here is a general look at your solar chart for November 2011 and um, well it looks as though you found a way of escape, some of you, because <laughs> you're into a more adventurous um, vibration, expansive vibration, uh, that's where the sun is at the moment so you'll get the urge to escape anyway probably uh, and maybe some of you will make it. Uh, you know, tunneling uh, uh, your way out under the wire. <laughs> um, but uh, no, you get the urge to push the boundaries of daily life, look beyond the usual mental horizons, um, uh, and just you're just wanting to escape from the daily grind. Um, uh, although there will be s some daily grind, um, particularly up until the 11th, um, but that will be probably you're probably be in quite a good mood really and there's lots of help there for you as well so you may be drawn to travel or to connect with uh, you know to be in a different place uh, physically or just mentally plunge yourself into something you get absorbed into uh, connecting with people in a foreign culture plunged into an environment where you're learning learning things that you didn't know before uh, good time to take a break take a holiday um, and um, you also, you know, um, absence, they say, um, makes the heart grow fonder, but also it helps you to get things in perspective. It gives oxygen, it helps you to breathe. So, however, it's working for you. Um, so, important others, well, they will tend to see you in a good light. People in uh, positions of authority or people that you look upon as being, you know, um, important in some way. They tend to see you in a good light. Uh, uh, you could find yourself an ally, particularly before the 27th, could be a woman um, uh, who is invaluable to your success in a, in a kind of a career sense or, 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 or to do with kudos, reputation, image, presentation. She'll, she'll just be, or, or, or somebody who is very friendly, doesn't necessarily have to be a female, but very facilitating somebody who's got who's got position or or, or power who, who sits in a who sits in an important position or plays an important role could just put their weight behind you and give you a bit of a get bit, bit of a leg up really um, and uh, facilitate you in you, you know being in the right place at the right time with the right sort of look or you know words on the tip of your tongue or um, uh, just, you know, um, helping you out to be successful. Uh, and uh, also with bureaucracy and others uh, in authority, could be even parents as well, um, or a parent, you know, or a guardian figure. Um, you're likely, some of you, to have more interaction with them uh, this month. No, but it looks quite like a, like a nice light energy. Uh, 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 anyway, uh, Mercury does go retrograde at the very end of the month. Um, that's to say, from the twenty fourth. So in the last uh, week, uh, that might slow things down related to all that stuff. Um, there could be misunderstandings, crossed wires. People get you wrong, or you get them wrong. Um, and um, you just got to kind of um, mm, uh, go over certain things again or maybe rethink certain things uh, uh, um, but then when Mercury goes direct all of that will start to come into focus and you can start to move forwards more more confidently. Now like I said there, there will be some uh, the daily grind I mentioned before um, this, is, this is a time when you could be um, you know, productive, energetic, uh, likely to find that you and someone can team up together and do business together um, and just make sure you each of you understand where you're coming from here um, and um, because if it is Mars and Mars can sometimes be a bit contentious, uh, uh, you know, there can be a conflict of opinions, you could have more to do with service providers at this time, maybe they're not doing things quite as you would like them to or uh, whatever, you know, um, so softening your tone and getting what you want it really is the name of the game. Uh, and um, But at this time, you know, somebody could make a space available, tools, equipment available, um, uh, and, um, you know, their, their knowledge, uh, their contribution in some way, which is helpful 
to you, very helpful to you. And then after the 11th, um, collaborations are still a key feature, but not so much on the hard working level. Then it, you know, it becomes more of a bonding exercise, of mental rapport. Um, it's more to do with close uh, relationships, um, and um, that can be working ones, that can be formal type relationships as well as uh, personal relationships. Um, but um, it, th that's a time when a relationship can, um, you know, you, you, you can really be um, meeting and greeting and uh, really getting to know someone. But again, there can be moments of tension or conflict. Uh, and you and somebody could be teaming up together, putting a lot of physical effort into getting something sorted, something done, you know, as well. But the energies as I said before, with Mercury and Venus together, are looking um, very friendly, very uh, nice, um, not heavy at all. Um, on November the 25th, the new moon um, partial lunar eclipse, um, that's heralding fresh beginnings uh, uh, in your career or in you know your public image or to do with parents and guardians over the subsequent month but that and then that's followed up with the total solar eclipse on December the 10th so um, that can be quite a prolonged phase there are several months of, of fresh starts related to that area those areas there uh, from the 23rd you'll be taking your worldly image and responsibilities more seriously uh, you are already but again there's more of the same really now um, you can leave this video now or and just go to my website and read about the outer planets or you can listen to me going over them uh, again um, so Jupiter um, which um, is a, the planet of abundance and expansion is definitely opening new doors for you um, in your mind uh, and uh, with uh, your social life um, and with education uh, however that's channeling through you, you know, you as the student, you as the teacher, it can be um, either way. Um, it's a very enlightening time for you. Um, uh, it's, a, it's a very upbeat, you know, it really can boost your mood, boost, boost your, um, your morale, um, this, this energy here. Um, and you could be making a lot more contacts, whether it's for a you know, professional sense or a personal sense, a lot more contacts because Jupiter, as I say, is about abundance um, in person over the wires, but having a very, very full kind of dance card, as it were. Um, and uh, Jupiter is opening new doors in your mind, as I say, showing you the, uh, um, what's new, you know, what's new on the block. And some of that could be very... Um, informative, very, very um, um, uh, eye-opening, really, and helping you to get the eagle eye view over everything anyway. Uh, so it's a great time for education, as I say. It's a great time to be beating the drum on something, putting the word out there, publicity um, over a wider and wider and wider area. You know, you, you want others to know about whatever this thing is. Um, and casting your nets wide, that would be advisable. So definitely a time to be developing your expressive skills, whether that's through speaking, writing, or um, uh, the arts. Um, a very good time to be doing that. And your people skills as well. And not to forget, very importantly, your, 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 your psychic skills um, also, because this is about another way of communicating which is nonverbal. It's telepathic. So, um, very good for all of that. Now, Saturn, um, until uh, autumn 2012, does keep you tied to somebody's apron strings related to money or property, um, regulations, a contract might be an old contract, you know, but you're kind of stuck in it, um, and uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing, it's just that it kind of ke keeps you um, within their control, in a way, and... Um, you should be building something which kind of uh, bypasses this uh, control so that you have more freedom uh, for, for yourself. 
So you'll be surely slowly gear shifting um, your priorities and changing old habits and attitudes. Um, or rather you should be because um, some of you may not be realizing that you're carrying around baggage or attitudes or, 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 or um, habits um, from the past and um, that actually skews your perception, it distorts your perception. So, um, and, and also some of you could be, another way this can work is that you're getting seriously interested in the other side, the occult, other dimensions, etc. Um, and um, yeah, and, and all of that could be happening too. Um, Uranus uh, will be um, helping you to change the way you earn your money. Some of this could be quite quirky or unusual or strange. Uh, or you could be spending money for quirky, unusual, or strange reasons as well. Um, uh, but um, get into anything maybe unconventional, techno, alternative, uh, gimmicky, maybe inventive, innovative, that will earn you money. Um, there's never a crowd on the leading edge, so sometimes it might feel a bit risky out there, you know, all on your own. But um, again, you know, you've got this wonderful intuition, Pisces, so just feel that, you know, feel the body, feel the gut, uh, feel the heart speaking to you. Um, uh, don't convince yourself, you know, don't deceive yourself about something, just listen to the body and um, keep the mind still. <laughs> you can't rely on the, the mind as much as you can on, on the, uh, your, your, your basic common sense, you know, that you were born with. Um, so, and, um, you know, it could be a revolution in your thinking, in the way you're earning your money that gets you on the right track. Also, this money earning could be to do with large groups of people. It could be to do with information technology and networking and um, and blogging and, and all of that sort of stuff. That could be another way that you can be earning money. But also, Uranus in this area um, um, will will help you, you know, um, quite suddenly sometimes to develop your talents and to um, uh, make something, you know, of 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 a talent. And everybody has talents, at least one. Um, so, yes, for you to uh, find a way to. Um, actually turn that talent into um, a skill which can be lucrative and, and um, you know uh, give you a sense of empowerment so that thing that you always really like doing but um, for one reason or another um, expectations, advice, education, whatever you missed out so this actually this, this long transit will be there for seven years so that this long transit um, could bring something that was on the back burner um, to do with you developing yourself onto the front burner of your life. Uh, your ruling planet Neptune is reversed into Aquarius. will be there until uh, February 2012. Um, then it will come back into your sign. So whilst it's there, it, there's invisible hands supporting you from unseen realms. Know that, feel that. Um, it'll help to bridge you and facilitate you you know, if you allow that vibration to help and facilitate you, but also you could be the bridge and the helper and the facilitator for others um, uh, in an intuitive sense, in a healing sense, in an empathic sense. And you uh, very, very early Pisceans, maybe in the first day or two of the sign or the first degree or two of Pisces, will be feeling this vibration mostly this month. Um, Pluto is quietly evolving your consciousness through group involvements. Um, and uh, that's in person over the wire and you could have some really powerful effect or controlling effect in some way over you know a collective whether that's a small group or a large group um, and um, don't underestimate the power that you um, may have um, but also a collective okay a group uh, could be having quite a control and a power over you more than maybe you realize and you're relying on them for your whatever escape or whatever so um, just be aware of that and ask yourself um, you know whether um, this sits right with you uh, now all friendships and associations will gl gradually be replaced by new ones um, over this time but it's a very very long transit Understand that you know you're, you're a useful component. You've got your unique take. You're a cog in the wheel, uh, uh, and but you've got your, you, as I say, your own speciality because you are 
you are a unique moment um, and, and you have a unique role to play. Um, and Pisces born February the 23rd to the 26th or between 4 to 6 degrees of Pisces rising you're going to feel this vibration uh, mostly this month and that's it for November you might like to listen to your rising sign or your um, your moon sign if you know it um, and there are ways you can find out and I will see you the next time <laughs>